Hello friends, in today's video you are going to learn how to create an animated visual using SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics. It's a simple HTML coding. You can write it very easily and after watching this video you can create this visual directly based on the data model you have. So my suggestion is please watch this video till the end. What exactly you are going to create in this video? If I hold my mouse on a table where I have branch wise profit, in a descending order I have created the table with profits and I hold my mouse on a profit margin which is very high. There is one custom tooltip is showcasing there I have one bubble is moving very slowly across one green line. That means the profit is good. But if I come to any other branch where the profit margin is little lesser, there the color is changed the movement of the circle increased and if I come down to the place where I have loss then the movement of the circle is increased and color also increased and you can add whatever comment you want to add there. So this is what you are going to create after watching this video. So now this can be used as a custom tooltip or you can use a normal standard visual as well. I used it for custom visual on sorry custom tooltip on other visual as well where I can showcase and give the information here I have added the comment within the circle itself. Now let me start creating a measure so let me add a new measure. It's an HTML coding so you, you can just uh, use the HTML tags but writing these tags inside Power BI may be a little hard so I am using Visual Studio code where I can write these tags very fast. So what are the tags I need to use? One is I have to use the SVG container that means SVG tags. Inside that I have to create a path path where the bigger circle will be created. So path tags. Then circle tags. Inside the circle tags I have to do the animation that is animate motion tag and then a text tag. So these are the five tags first I need to quickly create inside a uh, Visual Studio code and then I can bring the code here and rest the code will write will be written here itself. Let me jump into Visual Studio code and start writing. So first I need to start with SVG. So that I is the benefit of writing automatic code inside a Visual Studio code because the now if I write the, the starting tag I have one will be path tag automatically added. Simply I'll just now add the tags inside here. the SVG I have, have one here. path then I require a circle. Simply I'll just add the tags here, rest everything I will do inside the Power BI. Then I require a circle. Then inside circle I have animate motion. Then inside circle I have of the circle I, I need to have motion. a text tag. And inside circle, circle I, since I, I want to have, to have text, tag. text in multiple lines I am using and inside text e span since I want I to have, have two lines but it text is much code is enough multiple now, this lines the code. I am using that I am going to e add in the power I have so two lines but anyway this much code is enough now this is the code I am going to add in the power bit so let me copy this and the same thing need to be written in double quotes while using this in a power bi measure so within double quotes I am just pasting the code whatever I added from the Visual Studio code. Now first I need to give the details. First I need to give the SVG container. So I need to have a visual container where the visual will sit. So I will give one view box equal within single quotes minus 10 minus 10 120 and 120. Minus 10 minus 10 is margins from the top and left and 120, 120 is the height and width of the container. Then path. This path has to be basically a kind of code again. And uh, while if you learn SVG, you will understand there are several objects, path, circle, uh, line. These are the uh, objects available where you write a code and you you can create the object. So you have the same thing I'm coding. So basically I'm writing the dimension equal within single quotes. I have by hearted this. This is one half of the circle and if I copy this entire thing and paste it somewhere I mean, next to it then if I remove 100 and make it 0 because second half and the rotation will be finished. So now let me add this visual and show you how this uh, circle is created. 
So now let me say okay and then add one visual called HTML content. This need to be downloaded from the marketplace and you can start using it. So I'm just adding it. Let me go to my demo and then let me add the demo inside the values. You can see now a perfect circle is created. Now inside that I want a small circle which should rotate across the path. First of all this path should not be a complete one. I want only the line. So the inside color should not be there. So for that I need to go to the path and say fill equal none. You can write none or you can write transparent and then stroke that means the color of the line will be teal, a green color and stroke width will be maybe 5 points. We can increase that later based on the requirement. Fill is not there. Now inside that I need to add a circle. The circle radius, a small circle I want radius equal 10 and then fill equal maybe tomato. Now you can see one small circle created and kept on the top and this circle need to boom now. It has to move across the uh, bigger circle indefinitely, continuously. For that I will go to the animate motion. So first where it has to move? It has to move on the path and what is that path? The path is already been defined. Copy that. Paste it. And then I need to say how many times. That means repeat count equal indefinite and then uh, what is the speed duration equal currently I'm just saying 3 and then you can see this is moving. After that I need to add the text. So in the text first I say x is say 30% that means the x coordinate is 30% from the view box so that it's a margin and y equal 30% which, which can be adjusted later based on the requirement and then I'm writing two lines rather three lines one line will be the margin percentage below that I have the label and below that I have a comment so all three lines should come so I need to use the direction of y so dy equal I say currently zero then within the t-span I need to say in the t-span x will be again 30% which need to be changed based on the text it, you can see what is happening and direction of y is equal to 0 and then I need to type some text later I can change the text and it will be a tax function. Now if I just uh, uh, commit you can see some text is coming I think this uh, text should not come here it should be little left side so I'll make it like 15% anyway it is going to be a value now you see it's coming on the top and it is coming in the middle now same way I need to add one more uh, two more uh, values so I just copy this paste it down and paste it down paste it down so now this the D direction will be now 15 and the size font size will be maybe 9 and this is again some text now you see the some text is coming in the down and uh, this text should come say after 25 points and the font size is maybe 7 now you can see there is one more small text is coming but anyway I need to change the positions of them but I will not change now once I add the values to them. So this is the first part of the video. Welcome to the second part where we are creating DAX functions and planting them inside the SVG code. So this part is very simple and easy. Now I need to create few DAX functions based on the profit margin and also based on the profit margin only every value will behave right. So first will be I wanted to bring the color. So currently if you look at the path color is uh, T, a green color, but it should not be green. It should be and based on the profit margin. I need to change the color for that. I need to create a new measure color. So I'll say variable color equal switch 
and just simply write return so that you will not find any error. Now this is the color. Now this color will be added somewhere here. But if you notice one thing, while using the SVG code, you are actually adding the single quotes. So single quotes also should be part of your code, then it will be easy for you. Before the switch, I will write a single quote in double quotes, ampersand, and at the end of the formula, ampersand within double quotes, a single quote. Now this color is going to be added. Now let me just uh, test it. For that, I need to first go to the path stroke and I'll go to teal and remove this within double quotes ampersand ampersand and then type color now you see the color is changing based on the selection uh, it's working now the rest of the things I need to take care so let me go to the demo again now I need to change the speed that is duration so I'll just copy this variable again. Now this will be inside the duration because the speed should be inside the duration. If I remove this, within double quotes, within ampersand, I write speed. Now I need to change the text also. Text. This text will be, this will be profit margin. So normally you can write directly there it's a simple text but this is not going to be that so that I'll remove that so within double quotes within ampersands I say profit margin but you will see some problem here because you are actually uh, concatenating a value with a text and that is going to create a problem and it will convert it it will be converted in decimals and it will give you a very bad uh, text so I want to make it so I'll just say for format you can write as a variable or you can directly write here format comma within double quotes 0, 0.0 percent is and close bracket and press enter now you will see the profit margin but it should come little away right it should not come like left side so I need to increase it so I'll say this is uh, 25 percent now it is sitting in the right place. Even the profit margin should be 20%. Now this is sitting in a right direction. And this text should not be coming very down. It should rather come little up. So I'll say this is 20. So that it will be little near to it. Or maybe uh, 17. Yeah. And then X will be, I think this should be a little more, 30%. Now you have a text. Now this text to, to be based on the profit margin. So I will copy the same variable again. You can add any icons for the demo purpose quickly adding some random icons. You can make it a small one also. And you can increase the uh, stroke width. I will go to stroke width. Currently I took 5 I believe. So I will say. Uh, 10 I hope you like this video and uh, my suggestion is if you have watched the entire video please try it now itself and you can add it as a custom tooltip as well and apply on different visuals so thanks for watching this entire video if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe please like this video without fail and share with many